those of you that have seen the third movie, I said we're going to have a quiz and I'm going to use your brain. Can you tell me who lived in this hobbit hole, theoretically? And? Why? <laughs> After they got married. Yeah. Yeah, you'd never lived together before you got married. <laughs> yeah, Rosie. Rosie Cotton. Yeah. So in the movie we see them getting married under the tree and then supposedly they move in here. And with the magic of Hobbiton and Hollywood, before very long, they've got two children. Most people it takes a bit longer, but with Hollywood you can actually cut the time down. Um, and for the purposes of filming, it was actually two girls. And, and you'll see why in a minute. In the book it was actually a boy and a girl. So if you move the third movie along a wee bit further, and we see Sam arriving back, after putting everyone on the boats to go to the west, he approaches this gateway, and as he does so, a little girl comes down to meet him. He picks her up and delivers what is probably the last speech of the third movie. Now, in real life, that little girl was Sam or Sean Austin's own daughter. And then we see Rosie coming round with the second baby, and that was her own daughter in real life as well. <laughs> So we did end up with a kind of family in there, not really connected, but <coughs> was was a family. Now with all hobbit holes there is a room inside there. In most cases it is extremely small. What they do is they dig into the side of the hill and they make like a three-sided square. The fourth side of course being the door. It's fully lined with timber, particularly the roof, because you've got extra grass and dirt to go on the top and you don't want roofs collapsing while you're filming. Now, a peculiar thing about all hobbit hole doors is they actually open inwards into a room. None of them ever open outwards. So when they build the hobbit holes, they actually open the door because nine times out of ten, Peter Jackson wanted the door open or half open on most hobbit holes. So they work out if they get the door open to its full extent and then there is a gap of about that much between the edge of the door and the back wall. So it's actually physically impossible to actually get anyone in there and close the door. You just can't do it. Now this and Bag End are the two exceptions. And the reason for that, if you just come down here a little bit, 